You're listening to Living Spiritually, sharing ways to be more positive, trying to deal with these crazy times and our crazy lives. Hi, I'm April Kirkwood, providing you with common sense, easy to follow insights about your spiritual life, increasing your mental health and everything else. The getaway car to happiness has just arrived. Living spiritually. Glad you could make it. Good morning. Welcome to Living Soulfully with me, April Kirkwood. We're trying to get our lives back together. You know, one example that I always think of when I'm watching TV is this phenomena about zombies. Running from the zombies, the undead zombies, capturing the zombies, zombie escape, zombies at war with humans. And I thought, how much alike most of us are to zombies. We are actually like dead people walking. We are not alive. We are on remote. Besides that, we are not fulfilled. We are always craving something out there like the zombies to fill us, whether it's another person, a being, a place. It's like, is that us? And is that why everyone's so obsessed with the zombie phenomena? It's totally, totally whack, but yet it's totally profound. And I can see many of our lives in that kind of scenario where there's a constant craving, almost like an addiction for some fulfillment that cannot be found in money, cars, sex, pills, drugs, gambling. Um, so many of us are addicts, food, shopping, um, the chase, workaholics, people who are absentee parents because they're out there looking for something. And then the scenario just continues and continues in a multi-generational way. Uh, living soulfully means stepping outside of that zombie state and going into another realm. If you believe you are a soul, or if you're not even sure, I know you probably believe you are a being. If you can ever quiet yourself, there's something more inside of you than just your feet, your legs, your upbringing. Uh, my studies have brought me to the conclusion that we are so much more. In fact, we're, there's more happening that cannot be seen outside the five senses that then can be seen. We are not just who we were born to, the sex we were born into, the family, the money, those feelings. And you have felt that way too when you think, I'm more than this. I could do this. I can try this. I can be loved. I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be honored because that's the truth. You also have examples of being a being when you have somebody who has passed away and you go, I still can't believe they're gone. I still feel like they're with me. It's because they aren't really gone. You also feel that way when you look at your own life. You go, I can't ever really imagine not being. I cannot ever really imagine what it was like before I was born because for me, I always was. You were always there and you will always be here. This is just one small chapter, although as we grow up and our consciousness, our mind fools us, our ego fools us, like we're fools. We are taken captive by our minds who put us in a state of fear. And with enough fear, that becomes neuroticism. Um, frantic, going around, what, what do I need next? What do I need next? Nothing will fulfill you except going into that realm of being. Now you may say, okay, April, okay, I can't meditate, I can't do this. How the heck do I get in that realm? You get in that realm by focusing one step is by focusing solely on the now. Now you go, how do I feel the now? The now, and you felt it many times when you've watched a TV show and you have to go to work the next morning, you go like, oh, holy shit, we watched this for four hours, I gotta get up, I gotta go to bed to get, or you have done a project, 
or you've been doing something that you really love or you've been at, I know sometimes I'm at the beach and I'm like, it's six o'clock already. I've been here because I was in a realm without stress, without worry, just being. So step one, to this I do this all the time and this is the only thing that has helped me. I hope it'll help you. Whenever I wanna get in the realm, I touch something and I feel it. So I may be at a restaurant going, I need to focus on the now. And I'll feel the table, the smoothness, the smoothness of it, whether it's edgy, whether it's sharp. If I want to get in the realm before I work, I might pick up my mouse and look at it and really focus. What does that mouse look like? What is that? When I'm petting my puppies, I may just say, oh, let me actually feel the fur. Let me zip away for a minute and just look in their eyes. Let me concentrate on this. I'm doing it right now. I'm totally with you. I don't care what the heck is going outside. And then it goes so fast that I have to look down and I go, how many minutes have I been taping this? So your assignment this week is to wherever you go, whether it's sitting on the bus, touch your purse and just feel the fabric of your purse, whether it's um, leather, velvet, linen, um, jean, denim. And if you don't even have that, feel your jeans and just really focus on that feeling of what it does. Let it take you away back into the now of what is going on. Let it take you up into that realm where you are in touch with being, where you are not a male or a female, you are not a religion, you are not old, you are not young, you are not sick, you are not poor, you are not rich, you are just perfectly you, what God created you to be. If you do that enough times and you practice it, you stay in the now more and remember what you think of today manifests tomorrow. So whatever you're thinking about now, which is if you're thinking mostly about the past and your pain and your hurt, or you're thinking mostly about the future, which doesn't exist, your fear thinking about the future is manifesting fear in the future, which is not what we want for you. Until we meet again, I love you. I praise you. I appreciate you. You are God's child. Get in the realm. Focus. Even if you are sitting at a restaurant, touch the napkins rub the fork, get in touch, okay? And I'll be in touch with you again. Remember, sign up for our newsletter, aprilkirkwood.com. We have some freebies coming out, some lessons, some webinar webinars, just because I care about all of us and the planet living soulfully. My soul to you. Namaste. That's a wrap. Remember, let love be your compass. It will always lead you back home. We're learning how to manage it moment by moment, inch by inch. Thanks for joining me for more insights. You can always go to aprilkirkwood.com. Don't forget to pick up my new book out September 1st, Working My Way Back to Me, a memoir of family dysfunction to the 10th degree. I know you'll be able to identify. Got a jet now? God bless until we meet again. Love you.